Greetings one and all to the most cursed, most cringiest corner of the internet. A YouTube channel content creator, actively alienating everyone, both the analog and digital world. Well, welcome and good evening, Marvel Dice of all lights. I am Lunar D8. Bye!
I'll buy Scooby-Doo. More pills. I'd like to buy some Scooby-Doo, please. Oh, that makes that easier. I bought a Scooby-Doo. Oh. It's an active item. Scooby-Doo did. Disappointment. Scooby-Doo was disappointed. High-risk, high-reward. I spawned in the enemy. Ugh. Restart. So every time I go to the next floor, I'm automatically going to take damage. Oh, well, that seems like a fair handicap. That I spawn into the boss that shows up here. So I take automatic damage every time I change floors. How about this? If I ever ever switching floors and I'll like I'll have less than two hearts going to the next floor, I'll get myself something. Probably just breakfast. I don't want to be unfair. Bye. 
That was close. Rock Lobster Maybe I think that balanced But just hold left Maybe I'll be able to get out of the way Whatever it is Unless we just spawn the same spot Nope, I take automatic damage It's unavoidable Yeah, I got KFC. Mulligan. Oh my god, I hate this item. Terrible version. I mean, there's probably an item. Okay, it's, it's not good in any way, but it's not actively going to fuck me. But yeah, I'll give myself breakfast if I have less than two hearts. Well, actually, if I have two or less hearts. So as long as I have at least three hearts, we'll take our bullshit damage. Underground enemy. That is... Definitely somewhere. Well, there's a boss in here somewhere, but he refuses to exist. I win! I win by default. It's like you are now in a fight with Mike Tyson. But Mike Tyson has decided to take it. It's like, okay! Yes, I think Mike Tyson's the greatest boxer ever. Yes, I would never be only good as a boxer, as him, but at least by like trying to copy him, I can at least be slightly more physically fit and slightly better. Still terrible, mind you. Still terrible. Yay, Evangelion reference. I don't know what this other what 
I don't know what's different than the normal nail with this. Water conducts electricity. Where's our item?
Yo, didn't see that guy. The Pepsi's flat. I think I killed whatever the boss was. Oh, I see a cursed eye. Doesn't even try anymore. You just hold the push. It's like I'm playing it like a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Hold X to win. Still makes for a fun game. But I like Sonic the Hedgehog. Maker of the mod that made lots of um, bosses with alternate designs. And look at the jiggle physics too. You should also make portrait designs. Looking up what that guy's name is. Awesome. Well, whatever bosses are spawning, I'm just killing them instantly. It kind of feeds the purpose of having them spawn near it all. It's just, he'll take a hit of damage, but whatever it is dies before we get to see it. Also have another mod with some custom enemies, including the big the clock tower of Big Ben. But those are getting overridden by the other. Why is the light blinking? What combination of what has done this? Like I don't even think I have the night light.
Whatever it is, it's probably that blue thing. It's probably meant to look like a nightmare. Not even gonna. Well, I thought you were gonna do it. Why isn't Gideon turned into an anime girl? It would be Felicia from Darkstalkers. My eyes. I'm quickly beginning to not like the evangelist character just because my eyes don't like the effect of all the static snow. This hurts to look at. It's like. Actually getting a mic. Hi, Clutch. Actually, I'm about to turn this into a cat. Turned it off because I'm like, I never run into the guy. What's the point of the mod? It's never going to get used. But what of that? Isaac just crashed. Okay. 